from each other. That's what love is for. Don't you let, let nobody drag your spirit down. Tie your spirit let down. Let nobody tear your spirit down. Let nobody drag your spirit down. Don't you let nobody drag your spirit down. Don't you let nobody drag your spirit down. Don't you let nobody drag your spirit down. Here I am, I finally arrived in uh, Seattle at a great flight over, sat next to a couple of Christians, a guy who's a pastor uh, into missions, and now I've just arrived at a nice Starbucks again in the capital of Starbucks. Uh, not the original Starbucks, but I will get there soon. And here behind me is the Space Needle, space as you'll see. This in 1962 to be the centerpiece at the Century 21 Age of Space World's Fair. That took place right oh. below us here on what is now the Seattle oh, Center grounds. Total height of the building to the very tip of the antenna, 605 feet, that's 184 meters, or 1,452 tall lattes. Oh, that's Uh, now you might be thinking two things. A, this is very selfish to come without Beck. Uh, and uh, B, I thought you were supposed to be on sabbatical. Well, I am. It's just that I've got an hour to wait, so I thought I'd uh, come up. But two things about Beck. Uh, number one, she's scared of heights, so this wouldn't have been nice for her. Uh, and number two, I haven't forgotten her oh, really? because she's with me here. See? Ah, uh, take it everywhere. Well, what an amazing day since the space. Uh, space? Yeah, the space needle. Uh, booked into my hotel, had a lovely swim, which is very nice and relaxing after being out in the heat of uh, Seattle and being in the plane all morning. Uh, and then I, uh, what did I do? I went to church. Uh, I went to Mars Hill, I went to the 6.30 service, which was superb. Uh, it was really good. Uh, the uh, The building is, is really good. Uh, the welcome and the information is really good. Uh, the music was phenomenal. I mean, it was just all old hymns, but with music that was just uh, really cutting edge. Um, I was really sad. I sat right in the front, so I was kind of this close uh, to Mark Driscoll, like the sad little man that I am. Uh, Mark Driscoll preached a superb sermon. Uh, he was supposed to be answering the question on the emerging church. He spent kind of 15 minutes on it, and then he just went and did an exposition of Acts chapter 17, which was a, just a really good uh, exposition, well worth uh, downloading uh, from the Mars Hill website. Um, and then ended with um, communion, uh, which was uh, really good. Uh, in a few places lately, I've been where communion has had different stations. You can go and take it uh, when you're ready. I found that really helpful. Um, and then some great uh, hymns to end, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. It's the second time I've sung it uh, in the last week, and it really is a great song. And somehow I'm going to have to try and convince my church uh, to sing it. Uh, but unfortunately, sometimes they're not that keen on the great old hymns. Um, but I'm sure I'm sure they'll uh, they'll uh, enjoy um, that hymn. And then uh, I rushed back into Seattle, down to downtown Seattle, uh, because I had a ticket to the IMAX theatre to see U2 in 3D, and it was amazing. Uh, it was absolutely superb. I mean, the screen was just all over the place. Bono was kind of coming into the camera at you. You could kind of feel as if you could touch him. Uh, the music was phenomenal. I just, I felt sick. It was so good. Um, it was so good, I felt sick. Um, and then after that, then I had to walk back through some slightly dodgy parts of uh, Seattle. Uh, strangely enough, on the way back, I thought, right, it's dodgy, so I 
don't put my camera out because I don't want to draw attention to myself. Um, and then I uh, hid my my card on another part of my body. So if I did get mugged and they took uh, my uh, my uh, wallet, then at least I still have my card. The fact that I was willing to walk back and consider being mugged and actually had a plan for it, I don't think it was very good really. Um, but ultimately, yeah, I've come back, come into my nice little uh, hotel room. It's not that nice actually. Um, this is not nice. It's a bit smelly and it's a bit uh, grotty and the toilet blocked earlier on. So it's not great really. But there we are, I've got two beds to myself. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Um, and uh, I'm about to go to bed, it's 11 o'clock and the uh, conference starts tomorrow morning. Can't wait, keep bumping into guys in the elevator who are pastors from all around America. Uh, so looking forward to meeting people uh, and chatting and being inspired. Uh, but my thought for the day would be this. Experience, what is it? Uh, Experience. We live in an experiential age where people want to experience stuff. I heard uh, this week, Leonard Sweet, one of his good quotes uh, was this, um, was in, a, in an age which is more virtual reality, uh, there needs to be more touch reality. Um, so as more and more people kind of go into a virtual world, as uh, Mark Driscoll calls them, the pajama jahid, um, which could be you uh, watching this on the internet. Um, but as more and more people go into a virtual world, like I was tonight in, in U2, really, uh, we need to offer them a real touch. Um, a real spiritual touch, which is the gospel, really, isn't it? Which is really good. That is the, the true religious affections. Um, because, you see, it doesn't really matter how much um, it looks good and how high-tech it is. Um, ultimately, in the end, we all crave uh, personal contact, don't we? And so I'll end this thought, isn't it? Today um, could have been one of the best days of my life, uh, flying from John Wayne Airport to Seattle, uh, meeting some Christians on the plane, going to read some music, listen to my iPod, uh, go up the Space Needle in glorious sunshine, look around, uh, get to book into a nice hotel, go for a chilling swim, go to a church I've always wanted to go to and just go for a top-notch service, and then go and see U2 in 3D, uh, which has been an aim of mine for the last uh, few months. You know, in many ways the perfect day um, but uh, the whole day just lacked one thing didn't it uh, and it lacked that personal touch uh, it lacked my wife um, so in that sense it wasn't a great day was it um, yeah and I think there's a theological lesson in that um, that we can offer all the great stuff work on all the programs and all our practices and um, but ultimately people need to know Jesus and people need that personal touch